Hi and welcome to Anime CC of Falling Stars. So what I'm going to do now is to close this very one and we have a go at creating another one entirely. So let's close that. Now let's go straight into file, new project. And right there, instead of general, make sure you select template and select animation. On the animation, let's select the snow, the scripted snow. This very one click on OK. There we go. All right. So the next thing we want to do is to go to the library. I need to import the following. Let's come in here, get your image on board. This is the image I intend to import. So I want to click, drag, and drop the image right there. And close this that's my image that I intend to use so this very background of the snowfall let me show it to you guys let's run it and you see how it looks like that is how it looks like so I'm going to delete that so come right here that's the, the snowfall right click and just get rid of everything we have in there there that's it all gone now in there you can right click and insert keyframe or you can always press f7 so let me close lock all of this up and this very image or the background click drag the background drop it on board the background itself let's see the size is 100 1000 and 23 I'm just gonna copy that and that is the height so let's come in here and just let's change this to 1023 so that's for this background background or the stage and let's change this stage height to we might as well go for 600 anyway and maybe increase the size of these to 1000 200 right and since I've done that I might as well increase the size of these to 1200 and the height I'm going to increase that to 600 the next thing we want to do now is to select the align as the align there and let's make sure align to stage is checked and click on align horizontal center and align vertical center all right so that you guys can see what's going on in here i'm going to reduce this to maybe 50 so that you can see what i'm doing and what i intend to achieve what i intend to achieve so i'm going to lock that up now or well, before locking it up now you see the background right click on the background and let's convert it to symbol so i'm just going to call it bg okay bg stars because i intend to create stars there and click on ok there is now a bg star for me that's the name is now a symbol so let me come to the properties here and let's go straight to color effects drop the style down and let's select darkness okay you can lighten it if you want and you can darken it if you want that's it that's how dark i want it that's fine all right yeah that's how it looks like i haven't done anything with the snowfall that is here if i run it this is what you guys will see that's what you will see okay but i intend to change everything around now lock this up let's go straight to where we have the action script for this snow from the templates right click and select action in there i'm going to change the amount of snows that is dropping i'll change that to let's go for 500 and since the size of my screen is now 1000 200 i will change this to 1200 
that's the target dot x equals mass dot random is now 1200 and the height that is the width the height let's change the height to 600 right there and that's all there is to that now we're going to close that this lines of codes for your information is generated by or is you will actually find it on the template okay so let's just close that the next thing I want to do now is where we have instruction there's the instruction right there I will not delete this very one here that is the snow I'm going to change that but right click or just select the instruction here and delete instruction is gone now that is the snow let's look for the snow inside the library that's the snow inside the library double click on the snow and you can just highlight to pick the snow look at it right there you can see the pixels there so I'm going to delete that I don't want that anymore depends on you whatever color you want okay for your for your snow or for your star because I want it to be star so let's change this to something a little bit yellowish right click and change that to yellow color as well and now let's go into this polystar click on polystar come straight to the property and make sure you go straight on to the option and the option change or make sure his star so I want my star to be six and there so just draw your star that's my star there you see how small it is the choice is yours you can make the star big but I just want it to be very small that's my star there somewhere if I select that and highlight you can see my star look so let's get it centered where the air is yeah that's this right there right that's my star right there in there okay and now we're going to go straight onto the scene click on control and there we go that's you can see the stars dropping okay, let's close that and enhance the appearance so to do that I'm going to increase the size of this let's come straight to the width to maybe change this back up the background change the background to let's go for maybe 800 just to fill up the screen and go to control run there we go guys that's how you create your own falling stars but one thing is the star seems to be too much we can always come back in here come straight inside the code and reduce the amount of falling stars let's go for 200 now try it out there we go guys and that's how you create your own falling stars in anime cc bye for now